So following the uh, video that I did for uh, Google San Jose West, um, I wanted to do this one for uh, the three neighborhoods in Fremont that is great for um, bringing up kids and uh, raising a family, all that stuff up here. Um, so continuing from that uh, theme, I um, brought the uh, ma map uh, back and so that you can see where the uh, neighborhood sits uh, in relation to the Silicon Valley overall. So again, this is the Silicon Valley. Most of the uh, uh, places here, uh, other than the mountain range and, and all the green stuff that you see, is uh, Silicon Valley. And uh, Fremont actually is uh, this yellow dot here, so Fremont, I'll show you in a separate map, but it's in general in this area in relation to uh, the employment. Uh, so this is like uh, Facebook right here, or actually we should call it Meta now, uh, located in uh, Menlo Park. And uh, then all the rest of the employers down here, um, starting from uh, starting from uh, Google and um, Stanford, all the large employers. Um, I will not go through the, them again. So let's turn attention to a different map uh, now that you know the relative location of each. And um, so uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, so Fremont is this general area and if we zoom in more, it will start to show some neighborhoods. And uh, uh, so again, uh, Tesla is right about here along 880. And uh, this particular section here is the missions area. Uh, there is a old uh, Mission San Jose, which I will show uh, some of the uh, photos and whatnot uh, that you can see. Um, so this whole stretch is uh, Mission, Mission San Jose uh, area. And then we have another uh, great neighborhood in central uh, Fremont, uh, this Glenmore area. And then we're gonna move our attention to Uh, this area out of here, which is um, Nile. Uh, you see the Nile Boulevard, uh, some of the downtown area, Nile Community Park. Um, so, again, Nile and Glenmore and uh, Mission, Mission San Jose area for Fremont. So um, I have selected these three based on um, you know how easy it is to raise kids. So in terms of raising kids, we cannot uh, skip over uh, talking about school, you know, which I'll come back. Um, the main, the median prices in these three districts, or uh, three neighborhoods. Um, so mission is around two point oh seven million dollars. That's the median price. And uh, Glenmore is sitting at about $1.5 million. And Niles is about $1.43 million, according to the latest um, statistics. So along the school uh, information, there is a website called schoolratings.com. And it rates all the California schools. And uh, this should be a great resource for parents uh, planning uh, wherever they want to uh, bring the kids uh, into, and uh, it will probably help in uh, making that uh, selection as far as what location to start the home search for. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you need that medium price and relative uh, knowledge of the neighborhood uh, so they can make a wise selection. So. Uh, Fremont School District, uh, mostly they are rated well, on the scale of one to 10. 
mostly on uh, okay seven eight nine and some tens uh, i have rarely seen a school in uh, fremont rated below seven uh, which is a little bit different from other neighboring cities so Fremont actually is a very highly rated area for uh, education. So if that uh, aids you in uh, selection of the uh, home site, then uh, perhaps, you know, it would be wise to look at the, uh, again, schoolratings.com uh, and uh, find the school uh, close proximity and almost kind of do a reverse engineering of the sort and then decide what are the uh, primary desirable area for you and maybe the secondary and then of course blending in with the, uh, the pricing information, uh, square footage, you know, neighborhood, uh, time statistics, uh, things like that to uh, come up with an area. Of course, you know, now the reminder of course is we are in a seller's market. So uh, it may not be the buyer that's making all the choices. It may be availability, it, it, that's the driving force. Um, so anyway, uh, I showed you the relative uh, location. Uh, while I'm talking, you can see uh, in the background of the, uh, we call it B-roll, which is the uh, background row of neighborhoods that you go through. Um, so again, let's, uh, let's, come to, um, let's come to mission area. So mission, one of the things that uh, I can talk about, of course, is uh, mission actually does have one of the, the first mission in, in uh, California. And uh, we will uh, show you the photo, the area, uh, but mission actually has a, a small area for like, um, almost like a small downtown. And then it is right next to Ohlone College and uh, you see the mission itself. Uh, so this area actually is very academic and also uh, because it's kind of isolated, um, it, it, it kind of gives you the feeling of kind of being laid back uh, a little bit off the track. Um, so it's not as busy and um, so in this area behind Mission, uh, this older area uh, that that is on the map, these are the smaller homes in Mission, and they're older. Uh, but if we uh, kind of uh, zoom out a little bit uh, along Mission Boulevard, uh, actually towards the uh, 680 interchange here, this stretch is actually more along uh, the hill and if you see there's a mission peak trail uh, right here so this mission peak is very high up um uh, you know we'll show you a few photos of mission peak as well and um, these homes around the hill tends to be very much larger uh, they were built by ponderosa which is also a very famous uh, builder in northern california They've done a great job in uh, doing homes that are like 2,000 square feet up to like 4,000, uh, some even larger, three-car garage, uh, gorgeous looking homes. And, and these happens to be uh, at the higher price range, uh, averaging uh, basically more than $2 million uh, per home. And uh, there's some, uh, this one in particular I took that, uh, you know, I looked up the value. It's about $6 million, uh, 5.5 to 6, depending on uh, the value of the time. But this area is gorgeous because you have uh, the view of the valley uh, and um, uh, homes are, a lot of them are custom made, even though some are track and the track homes are very attractive as well. Um, but if we do go back to the old area, they're smaller and uh, streets are a little bit uh, more cramped. Um, but that's in general. It has a off the beaten track and an educational flair to it. And, you know, it's a great area to bring up kids. So that's kind of uh, um, of the uh, mission area. So if we come to 
uh, Glenmore, which in this case we'll see uh, right here. This is really the center of the city. Well, okay, maybe not Glenmore itself, but Mari is a central, um, Mari Avenue, Central Avenue for Fremont and uh, Fremont Boulevard. This particular area, there's a lot of shops. Uh, before the uh, Pacific Common that came up, uh, this is the main shopping area for Fremont. And um, so City of Fremont actually is, is now building a, um, a new downtown right along uh, this um let's see what the street name actually is we can take a look uh yes capitol avenue this one here um and it runs into Fremont boulevard so this particular area is uh so considered the central uh area for Fremont, and not far from it is the uh, glenmore uh, neighborhood so it is uh I mean, if you look at the homes, they uh, a lot of them are older homes. And the older homes uh, basically means the lot size is larger than, um, let's say, the, the PUDs, the um, condos, of course. But even compared to regular uh, single family homes, there is still much more space in the front yard, in the backyard. Uh, and uh, another characteristic that you will find is that Glenmore is such a good neighborhood where uh, many neighbors would just start remodeling. And uh, you don't see a whole lot of homes that are like dilapidated, uh, you know, waxing maintenance. Most of the street sites look uh, just, even though they're older, uh, we're looking at um, 50, 60 ish years old. Uh, of homes, but this particular neighborhood is a very good neighborhood to settle in. And uh, Washington High is right next to it. Uh, you know, there's just quite a few. And then all the restaurants, shopping uh, in Fremont is, is right next to it. Um, and then, of course, nearby uh, New Park uh, Mall. Uh, this belongs to Newark here, but the New, New Park Mall is nearby. There's just so many of the shopping convenience, uh, access to freeway. Um, so it is a great area to uh, to settle in. Um, so, you know, again, in the background, you will see the type of homes that you see. Uh, school is uh, similarly great. Um, so uh, one more thing to mention is BART Station is right here. This is the Fremont BART Station. Uh, so it's not very far from uh, Glenmore as well. And um, uh, there's Hospital uh, Kaiser uh, Washington Hospital right next to the uh, uh, BART Station. Uh, Kaiser is nearby as well. Uh, lake Elizabeth is right here. This is the largest uh, lake. Um, and then the library. Uh, so this central area is very uh, convenient. Uh, so Glenmore being in that proximity is a great place to be. Now hopping over onto the other side of uh, Mari, this particular town, this particular area section is um, Niles. And Niles actually has uh, a very quaint uh, downtown, there's a very small but adorable uh, farmer's market on the weekend. I believe it's Saturday. And um, uh, as in the in the B-roll, you will see many of the shops, uh, the main streets on Nile. Very quaint little town. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a nice Nile community park to take a stroll in. And then over here, uh, there is a quarry lake and you know all the uh, water area for uh, reservoir. But the home over here uh, tends to be smaller, the older, and um, uh, but they are all charming. It's not really 
the later on being developed on like track home or anything. So they all have their own individual charm. Um, and then there's a little bit more on the backside of the Nile, there's like condos and uh, townhomes uh, being built. Uh, but this area, uh, you can see it, it just feels like it's a different uh, type of place. And uh, I mean, in Silicon Valley, you come to some place like this, you just feel like time has uh, kind of slowed down. And in fact, there's a tea shop called uh, Time. <laughs> so uh, I think these are the great areas. Um, again, you know, Fremont has probably between 10 to 15 uh, major neighborhoods. So I only picked out three as good area to uh, settle in uh, and raise a family. Uh, you know, by all means, uh, pick or nominate your own neighborhood, uh, the reasons why you think they're great. Uh, comment below and uh, just let us know uh, what else to cover. And perhaps next time we'll do an update of this video and include other neighborhoods in Fremont. Uh, it is a great city. Um, one of the things that I can add to this is that uh, Fremont, actually, it, it was incorporated in 1956 from uh, five different uh, townships. Uh, those were Mission San Jose, Centerville, Niles, Irvington, and Warm Springs. They all came together and formed the city of uh, Fremont. Uh, one of the <laughs> thing that happened uh, back then was uh, if you look at the city um, the way it's situated there's Newark here and Newark actually was sort of surrounded by by Fremont but they at the time did not really join uh, Fremont so they ended up uh, becoming their own city uh, but that, that was just a historical tidbit um, again you know if I zoom out you will see that Fremont is on the East Bay, uh, and this is Dumbarton uh, Bridge 84, and it connects to um, Palo Alto, to um, Menlo Park, uh, basically the peninsula side. And then there's a 92, which is the San Mateo Bridge, uh, or there's a 237 that connects into the major um, employment centers of Santa Clara County. Um, but there you have it. Uh, this is how uh, we do neighborhood and uh, wanted to give you a feel. Um, but comment and uh, like or just let us know what you feel about this, this type of uh, video. We'll continue to become more neighborhoods in Santa, uh, Silicon Valley so that you will understand, uh, get to know uh, each of these areas. Um, we will see you next time.